So these are the seven tricks I use every time I'm designing in my Vectric software. But honestly, number four is my favorite. Let's get started. Tip number one, merged toolpaths. One of the tools I love in Vectric is the merge toolpaths feature. It lets you combine multiple toolpaths that use the same size bit in one toolpath. This gives you more control over the cut order. So rather than machining a single toolpath on all of your parts before moving to the next one, it will do all the toolpaths on a single part with the same bit before moving on, which is super helpful if you wanna organize your job so one part finishes early, you can pull it off while your machine is still going and start sanding or, or routing or finishing uh, that one part. So quick note before moving on, all of these tips that I'm referring to is in version 12 of VCarve Pro. So if you have a older version or a different version, you may need to upgrade to see all these features within your software. All right, tip number two, allowance offset. So I like to use allowance offset when I need more control over the fit and finish of my project. So for like inlays or joints or anything that needs to press together cleanly, I'll bump it slightly negative if I want a looser fit or slightly positive if I want, want it to be more snug. It's also great for doing a roughing pass first, leaving a little extra material and then coming back with a final pass for a cleaner edge. More on this technique here coming up. But I'll use allowance offset to dial in fits during prototyping or even account for bit deflection on deeper cuts. It's super handy when you're chasing tight tolerances without having to constantly tweak your vectors. And that's the key here. You don't have to tweak, let's say you have a hundred holes. You don't have to change the size of those hundred holes to get a different fit. You simply just plug in one number to change the fit of all the holes rather than changing your entire design. All right, tip number three, pre-made project files and vectors. This is something Vectric does very, very well. So when you buy Vectric, whatever version you buy, it comes with a bunch of different design assets that they call clip art. These are pre-made files that you can load in and customize to your liking. This can save you a tremendous amount of time. Some of the clip art designs include 2D game layouts, vector shapes, and a whole lot more depending on which software you have. Not to mention the free community project that Vectric releases every month. I've done several of those free projects that creators make. They send the files out to all Vectric users so you can make the project on your own CNC. Tip number four, set cut depth automatically. This is the one that I referenced before. This is one of my favorites. It's so simple, yet so powerful. So when you're setting up your toolpaths to cut all the way through your material, instead of trying to remember what your total thickness was in your job setup, just type this in the total depth box of your toolpath setup. Z plus 0 0.04 or Z plus a number. What this does is reference the thickness you input for your material thickness initially in the job setup. So your toolpath will cut to Z, whatever you input, plus 0 0.04 or whatever you want your clearance to be to cut all the way through. What's really cool about this is if you ever change this information, the formula automatically updates so you don't have to remember to go change it in your individual toolpaths. So if you have five different toolpaths set up, you would have to go in and change that material thickness for each one if you change your overall material thickness in your job setup. This eliminates that and it automatically updates. Tip number five. Do separate last pass. The do separate last pass feature allows you to do a full depth cleanup pass on your profile toolpaths. It gives you a clean and smooth side profile of your workpiece rather than leaving tool marks. This can greatly reduce the amount of sanding needed. Picture doing a profile toolpath in one pass all the way through your material rather than doing it in increments. I typically set the value to 0.02 and what this does is move your profile toolpath outward, 0 0.02, to cut your profile in the increments you specified. After it cuts all the way through your material, the bit will come back inwards, 0 0.02, to your original vector line, and do one single full depth pass, leaving you with a smooth side profile and reducing sanding. Tip number six is using gadgets. 
Gadgets are little add-ons for vCarve Pro and Aspire that give the software extra features or help automate repetitive tasks. They can do things like create boxes, cut dovetail joints, or add chamfer edges, saving you time and making complex jobs more easy. Tip number seven, job templates. I use job templates when making the same kind of project over and over again, like signs, game boards, or anything where setup stays mostly the same. Job templates let you preload your material size, bit selection, tool paths, and layout structure so you're not starting from scratch every time. For example, I've got a farmhouse sign that says, welcome to the blank home. The design, font, and layout never change, just the last name. So I saved it as a template. So now when an order comes in, I just open the file, update the name, recalculate toolpaths, and I'm good to go. It keeps everything consistent, saves a ton of time, and makes batching or custom orders way more efficient. If you're interested in learning more about anything in this video, check out the links in the description below. There you go, seven Vectric tips that if you're not using, you need to be, because it'll save you a ton of time. Let me know which one is your favorite. And if you wanna make real money with your CNC, then you need to check out the CNC Side Hustle, because that's exactly what I teach in that course. If you found these tips helpful, hit that like button and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, go fire up that CNC and make something you're proud of.